my name is Lindsay and today I am going to show you my potion shop that I made. Ooh, I'm so excited because I really like how it turned Before out. Before we start, I would like you to tell me which animal do you think is more witchy? A dragon or a griffin? Okay, so let's show you the shop now. So this actually took a lot of money to make and I think is because I used the stuff in the rare so right here is the first table you would see and it is become an animal potion so people can purchase these potions on this table and become an animal and over here is the love potions <gasps> shocking so you would purchase these and love potions and give them to a person to make them, you know, like you. And over here, I'm not sure what this does. It says I can activate something, but I'm not sure quite exactly what it does. We'll keep it activated so and see if it does anything. I just thought it was really cute. And I wanted more of them, but they are so expensive. Oh my gosh. And then over here on this shelf. And over here on this shelf, we just got little, little tiny vials of potions. They just, you know, use your imagination. You throw them at somebody and make them fast. You can throw them at somebody to make them into a frog. Or you could throw them on the ground to make fog come up around you. So you can hurry up and run away if you did something bad like, I don't know step on somebody's foot and then over here we got these cauldrons which is what we fill the potions up with I put the cauldrons up out here because I'm tired of the employees leaving the floor they leave the floor and they're just gone I don't know where they go they're just gone forever and then over here we have spell books and oh my goodness they are a mess look at this I don't know who was on duty last night, but I need to teach them how to organize the spell books. This is unacceptable. Unacceptable. And then over here, I have my little bat picture because we are a Halloween shop after all. We are witches who and, and wizards We who work here. So... And then, wait, what? Of course, over here, you know, this is where you buy your stuff from. So, sometimes we'll have special stuff out for somebody to buy. We don't have that today because, you know, we just opened. Whoa, we have a brew your own potion room. I for almost forgot about this. So, you... Do you have to pay extra to come in here to brew your own potion? So you come in here, you sit down at a table. So what you would do is you would sit down, me, also my dragon's here too, and you would just stir this cauldron. So we're just going to stir and stir. Well, we're not going to stir for one minute. My dragon will do the stirring. And then when it's all done, I will come and get my potion that my dragon made. And then you put them in a little bottle like this. Like this. So what you make in here, we make the, our hyper speed potions. We make our uh, what, big head potion and our anti-gravity potions. Here's more vials and more vials. So we got our anti-gravity potions go in these bottles our hyper potion goes into this bottle no our put super speed and then our big head potion and this is the brew your own potion we will be adding more potions to brew as the month goes on so make sure you bring your family over to brew their own po oh my hyper speed is done po brewing see now I got a hyper speed potion and it's super cute actually why don't we brew a lot of potions 
and then after the tour we could come and grab them that sounds really good okay now we're brewing our own potions so let's go down this so this room is very important for anybody who comes here to know where this room is located because it is the bathroom. Oh, it's nighttime, so you can't really see the mirror, but this is a black mirror. And I know this is a lamp on, but I'm pretending it's a toilet paper roll because when it's on, it kind of looks like toilet paper. So, yeah, I'm pretending that it's a toilet paper roll. And then I have a wash your hands sign because, oh my goodness, the amount of people who do not wash their hands. Oh my goodness, they get the shop all germy. Okay, so we'll close that door. Oh, yay, my paycheck came in. And this is the employee's favorite room because it is the lounge room or the break room. It is smaller, it is small, but that's okay. So over here, they this is where they put their belongings in. It's important they do that because if they get stolen, well, that stinks. And then this is the snack table. These donuts are pre-cooked. I got a, um, I, I have an oven up in my house. I promise. And I pre-cook them. And then, oh my goodness, this chair is so comfy. Ooh, nice and comfy. Let me just, let me just finish my donut. Okay, well now I want a nap. That was super, super duper feeling. Oh my gosh. So now I'm going to show you where I live. Wait. Ew, my dragon can stay down there. So this was actually hard to do. It was hard to make this a livable space. Well, I went with the loft. An open floor plan. Over here is where I sit. And I watch TV on my laptop. Because I don't really want a big old television in my loft it takes up way too much room i just watch netflix and hulu on my laptop and amazon and then over here we got my bookcase it's where i read my recipes for my potions that i sell here and then i got my bed oh so comfy and then this is for when i have sometimes i babysit a baby or a random baby just happens to be in my house. This is where they sleep. And this is where my pet dragon sleeps. He's not up here to... Let's go get him, actually. I can't believe I left him downstairs. How rude. He was finished brewing his potion. See, I am a true magical witch. I can just walk through doors. Watch this. Boom. See? Only witches can do that. So if you can do that... Chances are you're a witch. And then here's my pumpkin picture and my spider picture because I love spiders and they should add in a pet spider for the month of Halloween. Just putting that out there. And then I got some vials of potions up here that I serve to guests who are being naughty. I'll give them a potion and their head turns into a pumpkin and I don't turn it back until they are being nice again and then see this is where I pre cook the donuts for the employee break room or lounge I don't know what you uh, call that and then I don't have the frosting up here because I was nice and I put all the frosting downstairs and then over here I have my table for guests Oh my gosh, I wanted to sit. Come on, let me sit. Thank you. I have four chairs because I'm not. I have friends and family who do like to come visit my cool potion shop. Although they don't always come because most of them leave with their head being a pumpkin. Because my goodness, people can be rude. And then right here is where my dragon eats. Yum, yum, yum in his tum. And then, I'm not even going to open the door because I can walk through it. Here is my bathroom. This is where my dragon takes his bath. And this is where I shower. Oh my gosh, don't look. We'll have to we'll look up. Don't look. My goodness, this is private. What are you doing? Close your eyes for a minute. Okay. 
I'm done. Whew. Come on. And then I don't really use this toilet because it's taller than me. Can't get on it. I have to like, it's like climbing a mountain. And then, oh, after you're done, you gotta wash your hands. Pretend I washed my hands because I don't have an action for that. Okay, oh my goodness. Man, I hope you guys made it through the uh, to this part of the video because now we're going to get our potions. I don't want to have to give you a pumpkin head potion for turning off the video. Okay, let's go brew. Let's go grab the potions we brewed. So I'm going to drop my pet and we're going to come in here and we are going to take our potion. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh my goodness. Take potion. Take potion. Take potion. <laughs> Take potion and take potion. I think the anti gravity is my favorite because I like the pretty blackness. Well, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not. Click that bell notification and don't forget to comment which animal you think is witchy. And also, if you have any type of specific buildings or themes you would like to see me decorate or try and create or even recreate leave that in the comments below and i will attempt it and um let's see you subscribed you turned on your bell notification you liked the video you commented down below looks like you did everything so i will see you in the next video thank you for watching bye